In this video, we're going to take a look at how to multiply by 10, 100, and 1000. I think after we go through a few of these, you'll see a pattern here and you'll pick it up pretty quickly. So let's look at our first set of problems. Here we have 3 times 1, 3 times 10, 3 times 100, and 3 times 1000. So the first one should be pretty simple. Anything times 1 is just that same number. So if we have 3 times 1, then that, that answer will be 3. Okay, let's see how that relates to our next problem. We see we have three, and then there is a one in the number 10, so we can think of this as three times one, which is again three, and then the 10 has just one zero in it, so we're going to put on an extra zero after that three, so that gives us 30. And that kind of makes sense if you think about it, if you think of three groups of 10 or skip counting by 10 three times, you would get to 30 after you counted by 10 three times. Three times 100, we're gonna use that same method. Three times one is just three, and then in 100 we have two zeros, so we're going to put two zeros on the end, so that gives us 300. And then in this last problem, three times one again is three, and this time we have three zeros from the 1,000, so we have three zeros in our answer. And I usually like to do it this way. I get all of my numbers written out and then put the commas in. It's a lot easier that way than trying to figure out where the commas go as you are writing the numbers. So that gives us 3,000. Let's try these other sets. You can try to do these mentally or pause the video and try them on your own and then come back and check your answers. So seven times one gives us seven. Then seven times 10, seven times one is seven again with that extra zero, so that's one, one zero, that gives us 70. Seven times 100, seven times one is seven. We've got the two zeros, so that gives us 700. And then seven times 1,000, seven times one again is seven with the three zeros. So put in the zeros and then put in your commas. So we get 7,000. All right, and I bet that you will be able to do this last set pretty quickly. We're gonna go through it really quickly. Eight times one is eight. Eight times 10 is 80. Eight times 100 is 800. And then eight times 1,000 is 8,000. Great, okay, now on this page, let's see, can you solve these? So take a moment, see if you can solve these on your own, and then resume the video and check your work. All right, let's see how you did. So four times 100, you should have gotten 400. Nine times 10, that's 90. Eight times 1,000, that's 8,000. Five times 1,000, that's 5,000. Three times 100, is 300, and then seven times 10 is 70. So hopefully you got all of those. I have one more little challenge for you. See if you can solve these problems. They look a little bit different, but somewhat similar to the problems that we've done before. Again, maybe try to pause the video, try them out on your own, and then come back and check your work. Okay, so hopefully you tried those on your own. Let's see what we've got here. So 40 times 100. Well, I see a four and I see one, so I know that four times one is four. And then let's see how many zeros we need to put onto the end of that. I've got one zero from the 40 and then two zeros from the 100, so that's a total of three zeros. So then our answer should be 4,000. Did you get it right? How about 600 times 10? We've got a six times one, so that part is six, and then we've got two zeros from the 600 and one zero from the 10, so we have a total of three zeros, and then we're going to put in our comma, so you should have gotten 6,000. All right, last challenge problem. We've got eight times one, that gives us eight, and then let's see how many zeros we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So as, again, I'm writing out all of my numbers and then I'm gonna go back and one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. It's a lot easier that way. So we wound up with eight million on that answer. I hope that you got all of those correct and I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.